So Vikings, this is the bring smart worm gear. Everything, everything uh, seems to be tight in terms of tolerances, as far as, as I can, uh, you know, there's only so much I can feel with my bare hands, but um, <laughs> they have uh, some decent grease here. Actually, I thought maybe there was no grease inside, but yeah. And this is the worm. It looks okay. Uh, that's all I can say. And I guess we just have to test this uh, gear and see how it performs, really. Because um, there's only so much we can see and feel with the bare hands and eyes. I don't know how he sits <laughs> to put this together. Um, that's gonna be interesting. I think we need to do it this way. Let's just see if we can manage to get the gear back on. There's a little bit of play here, but that's not so important because we are um, you know the play will uh, tighten <laughs> it will tighten itself um, in terms of um, when we get weight on the gear uh, um, like the bed will have some weight you know holding the gears tight so we should not worry about the small amount of play because every gear casing needs to have play or it would not work <laughs> then you will just grind the gears so that's uh, just how it is and um, yeah they also when this casing uh, the stepper are working it will get hot and it will transfer some heat to the gear casing and then the also the gears will heat a little bit and they there will be some amount of thermal expansion which will make everything even tighter so I guess it's only one way to find out if this is something we want to use. I'm just curious about, I'm still thinking about how do we go from this guy, the output here, and to the belts. Should I just put a pulley directly onto the axle? Oh, that's so wrong. <laughs> I'm trying to add. <laughs> A 2.5 millimeter screw inside a 4 millimeter M4 hole. It's not uh, working very well for me. I need to design the printer so we can order parts to just drop in basically. Not like you using a lot of hacks. This is gonna be a DIY printer which like my mother could put together or something. Which is also affordable. I have one more gear, I'm gonna show you one more um, solution that might work. This is another solution. And the reason why I did not go, uh, have not used this before, is that it does not have the same amount of holding force as the worm gear. If we do take the worm gear and try to to turn the stepper it's impossible it does not <laughs> work at all because it locks uh, like crazy yeah but this one i can manage to turn planet gear i think it's called which have a, also a strange resolution it has like 1 to 27 point uh, a million or something mm. but it's also a very nice solution if it doesn't drop if it actually keeps the bed from dropping um that i don't know i think it can hold like two and a half kilos or something 
with the pulley straight onto here. I've been rambling a lot too much now, I think, um, about gears, but uh, these are all in interesting solutions, and I would like to know what you think we should do with the belt lifting mechanism for the wee baby. Should we have a planet gear or um, a printed worm gear or like on this Viking? Should we have maybe a lead screw or a ball screw? Uh, just skip the belts all together or keep the belts and yeah. Um, we can also have ele electronic brakes. I know there exist. But um, my, that's getting into the complex zone again. This is all simple solutions and we want to keep it simple, guys. Yeah, help me out. So write me a comment and thanks for watching.